Hello, so I want to take an opportunity to show this valve. Um, this is for a 357 caliber uh, or 9mm air rifle. It's a multi stroke pneumatic gun. And it's a rather big valve when it's all said and done. There's a, right about one cubic inch, close to 15 cc's of uh, air volume in here. So I wanted to show how the assembly is. Uh, it's a striker valve but it's also a dump valve when it gets struck and the idea behind that is to use principles similar to that of a balanced valve. The stem is hollow through and through. The camera picked that up. There's a hole through. Made a PEK uh, peak material stem this has an o-ring on it. This is a polyurethane o-ring. It's very hard o-ring and how that seats is right inside the throat. Uh, it's 5 16 diameter. There's the, this is stainless. Uh, the front of the valve is stainless and the valve body is aluminum. So here's how it goes together. This stem does not go through all the way. This is the inlet side and this is the side that will remain at atmosphere. So when this is assembled, slips in there like that. This protrudes out the back of the exhaust valve and this whole section and 75% of the area of the stem, the stem head is at atmosphere while 25% seeing valve pressure. So here's how it goes together. This slips in through here is a o-ring in there. That is on the wall. Uh, this was going to be one piece design and to be honest I've kind of messed it up and had to reconfigure a way a workaround until I get more stainless but this turned out so nice that I just may keep it like it is so what we do is here's the check seal it goes in there like that the spring goes behind it this will feed through like that and then this excuse me I'm looking through the camera here threads in and it has a coin slot so you can tighten this down okay so that's the inlet side and the atmosphere chamber side. So this will go together. We slip in the spring. This is the front of the valve. Side. It's nice and concentric. We'll pop this on. There. There's the valve. And this is a dump valve and the idea behind this uh, came after studying some of the valves that I've been looking at online and people are making to uh, meter their PCPs uh, this one doesn't meter uh, behind the seal 
uh, rather it just vents out the back and the idea behind this uh, that the greater portion of the valve stem is actually at atmosphere pressure the whole time it requires less cracking force to open this valve and once it cracks it fully cracks and dumps all the air the problem I was having is that uh, pumping this up the theoretical number pumping it up 25 times with the, the onboard pump that it has it was about 2600 psi and the problem I was having is that this was locking I could cock the gun and fire it but uh, a little bit would come out and I could get two three sometimes four shots out of it um, not good for this platform since it's such a big bore it needs to dump all this air and so the size of the head being 5 16 uh, it's a pretty big ceiling area with you know 2600 psi you're talking uh, you know a couple hundred pounds on that pop it head and it, and it wouldn't crack open it would barely crack I mean I, I guess I could get a heavier striker and a ridiculous, uh, ridiculously heavy spring uh, but I'm limited on the space that I have within the rear of the gun to add length to the striker it, it's right at like 96 grams is what it weighs the striker for this side cocking that's with the handle on it which adds to the mass uh, and, and a couple inches of, of spring room in there and it, I was having difficulty finding springs that met those dimensions without having to actually probably get some music wire and make my own so this is what I come up with the, the spring I have in the, the gun now is more than sufficient it's, en it's heavy enough that it it kicks us open, but once this starts to flow, it dumps all the air. And I'm really, really, really pleased with that. So disassembly. Very similar to a balance valve. But I guess you can say this is a, a pop it at atmosphere valve, not really a balance valve. And for this, I went with the single central shaft rather than putting a support ring down at the exhaust side like a lot of balance valves have they have a uh, a ring that sits here and the tube is off of this ring I didn't want to have any obstructions I wanted to minimize restriction as much as possible and this was the, the quickest route to doing that honestly uh, I could probably machine this down a little thinner and so this is what it looks like when it sets together come on focus just like that ample room around it to promote airflow so yeah it's gonna be pretty uh pretty sweet once it's all finished thanks for checking it out